Welcome to Santa Clara University. My name is Lavrit and I teach math here at SCU. In this video, I'll be talking about our calculus readiness exam or CRE, who needs to take it, when and how to take it, and what your score on it means in terms of what math class you can enroll in. The CRE is an assessment that we use to place you into your first math course. And to do that, we need to get an accurate picture of what you know now. For our CRE, we use a tool called Alex. And based on your answers, Alex determines what your current strengths and weaknesses are so that we can find the best first math class for you. You should take the CRE if you plan to take first quarter calculus, which is math 11, 30 or 35, or if you plan to take pre-calculus, which is math nine. We have three calculus sequences at SCU, depending on your major. So math 11 through 14 is for STEM majors, things like chemistry or physics. Math 30 to 31, that's for business majors and econ majors. And math 35 and 36 are for life science majors. So things like biology or neuroscience. You do not need to take the CRE if one of the four following scenarios applies to you. The first is if you don't plan to take calculus at SCU, maybe because your major doesn't require it. Or the second is if you took pre-calculus, math nine at SCU. The third is if you took a class equivalent to math nine at another college. And the fourth is if you have AP credit for calculus. How does AP credit work? So let's say you took the calculus AB exam and you scored a four or a five. So that would let you enroll in a second quarter calculus course like math 12, 31 or 36. If you got a three on it, that would let you enroll in a first quarter calculus course. So math 11, 30 or 35. And if you got a two or lower, then you would need to take the CRE to determine whether you would begin with first quarter calculus or with pre-calculus. If you're only gonna get your AB exam score after your orientation, please take the CRE before your orientation because if you haven't received your AP score and you haven't taken the CRE, then you may be locked out of registering for a math course and we don't want that. The deadline for taking the CRE is June 15th. If you missed the deadline for some reason, please email us at credirectors at scu.edu and we're happy to help. What if you took the AP Calculus BC exam? Well, if you scored a four or five on it, you could enroll in third quarter calculus, which is math 13, if you needed it for your major. If you got a three on it, you could enroll in second quarter calculus, which would be math 12, 31, or 36. If you scored a two or lower, then you would need to take the CRE to see if you could begin in first quarter calculus or in pre-calculus. If you're not gonna receive your BC exam score until after your orientation, but you took the AB exam, maybe the previous year, then use that score to register tentatively. After you get your BC score, if it's a high enough uh, score to move up a level, please email us so that we can help you. If you didn't take the AB exam, then please take the CRE before your orientation. Remember that the deadline to do that is June 15th. If you missed the deadline for some reason, please email us at that email below. Before you take the CRE, get yourself in a quiet environment where you can dedicate a few hours to thinking about the problems. The second big thing is you may only take the CRE one time. So if you do wanna brush up on some stuff from high school, please make sure to do that beforehand because you only have one attempt. The third thing is that the CRE is designed to find out what you know now so that we can find the best first math class for you. It's really common for students when they begin college to repeat a math class that they took in high school. That's actually something I did when I started college and that helped me a lot in getting used to the pace, which was a lot faster in college than it was in high school, as well as the rigor, because my college level course was taught at a much higher level than the same class I took in high school. And overall, that helped me a lot in my math track. To take the CRE, you'll follow these seven steps. First, log into eCampus, then you'll click on the academics tile and continue to follow these steps. It'll prompt you to install something called Lockdown Browser, which is some anti-cheating software, because we wanna make sure that it's really your work that we're seeing. You'll have three hours to complete the CRE, but on average it takes about an hour and a half. How do you interpret your score on the CRE? 
If you get a 76 or higher, you place into first quarter calculus, which is math 11, 30 or 35. If you get below that, you place into pre-calculus, which is math 9. However, if you get between a 72 to a 75, you can retake the CRE if you do 15 hours in the Alex prep and learning modules and email us before July 31st. And the email is this below. If you get between a 68 to a 71, you can also have a retake if you complete 25 hours in the Alex modules. If you get between a 61 to a 67, you would not have an option for a retake. You would just get placed into Math 9, which is pre-calc. If you get below a 61, you also get placed into Math 9, but we would strongly recommend that you take a college algebra course, say at a community college, before you enroll in Math 9. What is the Math Advanced program? So this is a free, three-week online intensive course that we're offering in August this year to get students ready so that they can thrive in their calculus and pre-calculus courses. We're opening this up to 80 engineering and science students. If we can't fill all 80 spots with those students, then we'll open it up to others as well. And the key deadlines are to be eligible, you must take the CRE by June 15th. After that, we'll send out invitations and you must accept your invitation by June 30th. There are two courses that we are offering for this program. The first is called Math Advanced Calculus. Uh, you must take the CRE by June 15th, and your score has to be between a 70 to a 75. So that's just narrowly missing the cutoff to place into calculus. One of the key benefits of this is after, if you successfully complete the program, you will be able to register for calculus. The other course is Math Advanced Pre-Calculus. Again, you must take the CRE by June 15th to be eligible. And this is designed for students who score below a 40 on their CRE to help you shore up your foundational skills so that you're ready to tackle and thrive in your pre-calculus course. So I hope this video was helpful and welcome again to Santa Clara.